Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Redding Fighting Phils. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Zach Eflin, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, his last outing was curious to me. That's the word I'll use is curious, because if you go five innings, you get that five and bail, right? Well, he went five innings, but then he got the loss. He just wasn't able to go further. I think he's got to give them a little more distance and be able to execute his pitches early on a little bit better in this game. Hey, it plays that one right here. Mario Oliveros. He'll lead things off here Mario in the bottom half of the Oliveros. first. Ball. And a ball 1-0. Hey, Char, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, this has been a fun series. These two teams are evenly hey, matched. No I mean, they've here. had two Nobody games got. so far, and they've each won one game by one run. Uh, it's been fun to watch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you've got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Not in second. Now to the well, plate, Brett right here. Santana. Right. And Santana. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball oh, here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. One out, nobody on. Cut fastball and it's by him one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Well, now we've seen the combination of the two-seamer and the cutter. That is a lethal combination because now he's taken away the ability of the hitter to sit on one direction of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Batting third, third In now, one. Dennis, Dennis Baez. Baez. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Two down now. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Here we go now. Let's go. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And that now, slider is almost in two. the dirt. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, got him looking at the two-seamer, and that'll end it. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go on to the top of inning number two, and Binghamton is out in front, one to nothing. Striding hey, in, like you can up Daffy there, like you can up Yellow there. Horse. Petra, Daffy, Yellow Horse. Oh, an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1.
Wait for your pitch up there. From the stretch. Oh, it has him I looking silly Owen. here. It's 0-2. Well, now he's 0-2 after that off-balance swing. And, and sitting on the on-deck circle, there's no way he was thinking about this would be my hey, approach. Pitch. Let me Make swing yours. and fall down. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box now, T.J. Christensen. He's coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. Christensen. And we got no one here. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Now the pitch. Ball one ball, one. one strike. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. Go, it's a base go. hit. Well, this kid's opening some eyes. That was a nice hit right there. Look, you can jump from double-A to the big leagues real quick and keep putting numbers up like he's doing. Stepping in, hey, nobody Tom out now. Cruz, the yeah. average for him entering Catherine. play, not far Tom north of 200. Cruz. Hey, let's turn two, huh? Runner! Runner's off for second. Pitches hey. a cold strike, the throw. Six. Not in time, he's in there at second. Here comes the 0-1. Liner towards second, but an atom ball He's right safe. to him for the first out. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Standing in, Harper Pippinger. He did not play right last fielder. night, but clearly back Looking in back, the starting line Pippinger. for this one. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down one, the line. Got you see a lot of swinging misses on those. Two, one, one and one. Runner at second here with one man out. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Hit on the ground to third. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Cut, cut! Nobody, nobody. On to the third baseman, but it's off the mark. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively came back to factor into that one. Well, I think he made the pitch he wanted to make. It was down, but hey, unfortunately, it found a hole and got through the infield. So coming to the plate, Richard Lucero. First Great. shot for him here with a runner Richard. at first. Ball right here. Come on now. Hey, we got First one. pitch of the at-bat. Hey. And that pitch catches the inside corner. All one's the count. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one -one tie. Nope, that's Tries down. to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. 
That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Into the box, Daryl Shields, hey, Darryl. as the first pitch to Shields. him is in there for a called strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Hey, two down here. The 0-1 on its way. <coughs> Leaves a slider right over the middle. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Make your pitch. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So one run on two hits, one error in the inning, and one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, all tied at one and one. Into the box now, Zach Eflin. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First offering on its way. Hey. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. Hey, plays it first. Plays Into it first. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Zero. A wave and a miss. The lineup oh, top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Rodgers over to his left. Throw on to first in time, one away. Digging in to try it again. Mario Oliveros, 0 for 1 for him here in this Mario one. Olivero. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Hey. And this pitch is taken on hey, the inner half go. for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Hey. Favorable call in there for a strike. That's your classic front door slider. It doesn't break like you expect it to, and all you can do is freeze as a hitter. Hey, and one away, one away. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, 0-2 in the dirt. Listen, this team's a very free-swinging team, so he's just going to go ahead and try to keep bouncing. If they're going to swing at him, he's going to keep throwing him. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Digging in for his second at bat, Brett Santana. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Santana. Chopped weakly to the left. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Well, there's an infield single with two outs. You know, never too late to get a rally started. I love the hustle right there to get things going. Ready for another chance? Dennis Baez. Dennis Hey, come on now. Baez. He's set and the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. Hey, two away now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two-out rallies start. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Here it comes on nothing and two. 
And here's a ball, ball, ball hit ball. in the air. Cedeno will put this one away, and the side is retired. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. Three innings complete, all tied at one and one. Stepping in and ready for another Nobody. shot. Daffy hey, Yellowhorse comes into this Yellow at horse. bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey now, baby! Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Boy, not right. the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. Oh, well, it looks like he might be a little anxious swing at that pitch out of the zone. This situation, base is loaded. You have a tendency hey, to be a little right jumpy. Here. One time. Let's go. Calm down. Let him come to you. They still have to throw it over the plate. Hey, let it rip here. The 0-1 pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Hey, see it up and drive. Ready with another 0-2. Another one sent foul. Hey, get your good one up there, huh? The next 0-2. And a swing and a miss here, and that's about what you'd expect from a pitcher, I suppose. There are two away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Striding in once again, TJ Christensen. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. TJ Christensen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and the slider stayed low, apparently, for oh, a ball. One, no strike. Here we go right now, fellas. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Tell you what, I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here, Matt. His secondary pitch has really been effective. He's used it well. He's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. A oh, little down. bit outside, two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Here's a high up, up, pop up. up. Valentin is there for it. Mine, 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 mine. I got it. And that's the first out of the inning. In now, Tom Cruz. He's 0 nine. for 1 thus far. Tom Cruz. Hey, we got one out right here. First offering on its way. Yeah. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Hey, come on now. Let's go. Hey. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. 0-2, oh, here it comes. And a Zero. fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Now batting, right fielder. Into the box now, Harper, Harper Pippinger. Pippinger. As he will Aye. take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0-1. One for one after a single his first time up. Hey, two outs. The wind up and the 0 1. A shot down the first baseline. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Boy, that base hit made the front office really proud. That's what the farm director and the player development guys are looking for. Can you hit the ball the opposite way? Now batting, 
Standing in now, Richard, Richard ah. Lucero, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Two down, two down. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Grounded up the first baseline. Hey, but make your pitch right here. Foul ball, strike two. Ready with the 0 2. Well, and he missed with it. It's one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0 2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball? Nice layoff. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go, all tied at one and one. Now at the plate, Daryl Shields. Over one for him here in this one. Shortstop, Daryl Shields. Into the windup and the pitch. Aye. Takes a look down at the knees for Ain't a strike. Out now. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Right at third. Fielded cleanly. Throw by right oh. is in time for out number one. Chauncey Dow. We'll move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Down. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Hey! And he takes a cold strike. 0-1. Oh he comes in with that average down in the 240s. Seven homers and 25 driven in. Hey, we got one. The 0-1. Oh, one That's one and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Oh, Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. Here's the one and one delivery. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fly ball heading for the alley. Is Waldo on the move, but he won't have a play. This is down and no into runner, the gap. No runner, and cut he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Center fielder, number six. In now, Mario, Mario hey. Oliveros, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Hey, now, we got one. We got one. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Shot foul over towards the coaching box. One out and a runner on second base. Got it. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Now batting. Into the box, Fielder. Brett Santana. Brett. Santana. And he takes Santana. ball one. He's one for two in this one. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse, a home run.
A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year as they have taken the lead. It's three to one. Man, he's kicking himself after that pitch. As soon as it left his hand, he knew it was a mistake. The next thing he knew, it was screaming through the night sky and over the fence. Now about it. Third baseman. Into the box now. Dennis, Dennis Baez. I still lay off a slider too low. Ball one. No hits to this point. Here we go now. Let's go. The high fastball is in there. One ball, one strike. Two down now. From the windup, the one one pitch. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Both teams with six hits so far. And that's in for a base hit. Making no a runner. run for Cut three off. games so far. That's a strong hitter right there. Slider in on his hands, and he still is able to muscle it out far enough for a base hit. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now batting, second baseman. Standing in now, T.J. Christensen. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Comes set with the 0-1. No ball swing on the knuckle time. curve, even at one and one. Two outs, fellas. One and two as he chases the slider. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors and a runner left on. Five innings complete. Redding is out in front here. Three to one. Ready for hey, another pitch shot up there. Now. Let's go, kid. Daffy Yellow Horse. Daffy been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Hey, see it and rip it up there. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Oh, one's the count. Comes set and the 0-1. Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate, and he's behind now 0-2. He's clearly looking to hit off the hey, fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Didn't look to me like that was much of a protect swing with two strikes. No, he was trying to go yard, two strikes or not. Kind of looks bad if you strike out like he did, though. I'm sure his manager would have liked for him to focus on. Your Russell lead. Castilla enters now to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 17, Russell Castilla. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The Binghamton Rumble Ponies to Victoria for the 40th time this season. Russell Castilla gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Julio Osuna wraps it up for the save, his 26th. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score.
first for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Pony. Five runs, 15 hits, three errors. They left 19 runners on base. For the Fighting, four runs on eight hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 20 minutes. This pitcher's vital contribution is not overlooked.